Hi guys, my name is Rico and I just lost the finals of YC Square Q. Um, I played a very similar to a similar deck, like a similar similar um, engine to Niagara. Um, but let's just get into it. First, like I said, the engine was very similar to Niagara. I played the Mandatory Snake Eyes. <clears throat> uh, second Oak, never needed it. I thought about adding it. I had it in my deck until the night before the event. Um, I decided to take it out because you can play in a way that it doesn't come up. Um, you can just... Yeah, if you know how to... But you, you, you have ways to play it without needing it and so it's just like another card that doesn't do anything on its own. Um, I called it for like playing less cards. Um, then I had two spells that aren't mandatory. Then the witch won a bonfire. Very, very standard. Don't cut witch. Cards in Zane. Um, Deception hollowed. Nothing to say. Then I played cash again. Uh, I played two Fenrir and three Unicorn. I increased the um, cash package. Why did you play Kashira? It is insane. Like I expected, expected to have faced like a lot of random or rogue decks here in um, Ecuador, and these cards are just insane into that. Um, also, like the format, uh, the the format developed to be like a hand trap format again, and the cash cards just trade so well with hand trap formats, and they're like they're like the the thing that makes you win if. You're in a simplified game state, or if you, you you hand trap your opponent, or your opponent hand traps you, they're like the thing that make you win, and they're like free bodies, and they're insane. I definitely would, yeah, rec recommend you play them. <clears throat> that was it for the engine. Engine count is twenty seven. Um, then I played for the non engine the three ash blossom. Um, the Imperms, the Drolls, and the Ghost Ogres. <coughs> um, these are my hand traps. I decided to go from Bar Breakers or Hand Traps because I cut the Fiendsmith. And yeah, I just think this will be, this is better into the mirror match. And it turned out to be way better. Um, I was very, very happy with these. Droll also was very good. Um, you can also. Yeah, cover so many matchups with this, and especially if you expect a lot of rogue, draw becomes better. Ghost Ogre was insane. Ghost Ogre was a thing in the mirror match. It was like I thought about playing Dominus Impulse at this uh, instead of this, and then yeah, shout out to Enzo for telling me this is better than Impulse. It turned out to be better. Ghost Ogre. It turned out to be better than Impulse, and um, definitely. Yeah, also, it's fire into rogue. Then I played the two talents, called by. Uh, talents was insane as always. I love going second with this deck. I love breaking boards, and I just talents, my best friend doing that. Call by is. Yeah, I don't I don't play enough hand traps for cross out. And I don't think cross out in the main deck is the best thing to do. I don't like it too much because it's not that good going second. I'd rather have one of these going second. Um, and yeah, I think going first. These almost do the same as Chronosa. Like they don't, they're not that good into Imperm uh, and Impulse, obviously, or the stuff that is in your draw phase, like Frivolos or some, yeah, whatever. Frivolos also is not always in the draw phase, like I, for really young, but yeah. They perform very, very well. I love Talents. Talents is like my favorite non engine card, probably. Uh, deck count is 42. I shrinked it on three cards since Niagara and yeah I, I was trying to play 40 but um, I don't think that it is possible to play like every card you want to play without going over 40 and 42 is a good card I love, I love playing 42 cards then next we go to the extra deck <coughs> Um, extra deck is Goddess, love the card, then the 
Raging Phoenix, Delantis, two princes. Um, was insane actually. Um, if you have SP, banish SP so, uh, something from your opponent, then they come back. You only need another monster to have like the princess set up again for the follow-up and then you win. You could argue that it's not needed. Yeah, not like really needed, but it made you makes your follow-up so much better and it makes it so much easier to win. And yeah, definitely glad that I played him. Um, Phoenix, Hida, Dark, IP, Double SP. Uh, same thing, I like to end with SP on my end board. And then having another SP for like the next turn is insane. I loved it and playing two each also made the cash matchup into you worse because they can hit these with cash and uh, with unicorn never came up but that was also like a reason i played two and two um anima the two fusions and to respect them by the fupa never saw this card only play one time by the entire tournament so i'm very happy with that actually uh, side deck. Uh, side deck. yeah uh six dramas great cards if you go second um yeah not much to say. Maybe the why I didn't main deck Fovolos is because of I do not like to have cards that only are good if you go first or if you go second. And in like recent testing with this deck or in recent events like the Niagara vs Niagara, I figured that sometimes if you go first and you have this, it's just like yeah, it, it is obviously a brick, but it's like a card that actually makes you're not able to play and you can't just normal summon it like special summon a cash normal summon it and go feed with combo because I don't play it anymore that's why I think playing this in the side deck for only going second is the correct thing to do um, I play Diddy Crow use this card a lot it is insane into Rogue uh, so 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 uh, happy with that I played this it won me a couple games and yeah, it also is very good into Fire King. I thought I'm gonna see a lot of Fire King and this card just cooks Fire King. Like so many utilities. And the, re the thing is with called by call by negates the thing you banish. And if you like banish princess or whatever, you can use your own princess. And this just doesn't negate. So you can banish your princess preemptively and then make your own and yeah. Or not restrict it into anything. Uh Cosmic to respect rogue. Um, great card, <laughs> and the three traps, floodgates. If you go first, they're insane. Sometimes if you go second, they're insane. Yep, yeah. that was it. That was my deck. Uh, I was very very happy with it. Um, gotta figure out if I need to make any changes. I can't tell right now. I'm very happy with everything I said. Um, yeah, there's not much to add on that. Let's just do shout outs. Shout outs to my team, obviously, United Ghosts, for the inspiration of cards, for like ideas and everything. Super happy to have those guys supporting me. Uh, shout outs to, like I said, Enzo for helping me build the deck. He actually gave so much good critis uh, critic. Uh, shout outs to the boys in Switzerland that supported me all the time, uh, all my friends. And yeah, shout out to Nikki for letting me use this playmat because I love it. I really don't have this one. And shout out to everyone watching, I would say. Thank you. Thank you.